Good morning, Quay. <clears throat> Good morning. Miss Christina, I got, all right, so I'm going to come on your leg today because I did the top head, but it's just so much to go on because I did the rice. So if you got leg today, I'm going to just come. Can you, you did the top part up until what step? Um, Quay, we're also going to do it right now. So if you want to just do it in the today's period. All right, because I was going to say we did it. We started it last week. I mean, the uh, last class, right? Yeah, we did it up until I think step three. Where it says like claim or opinion. Yeah, I got to do step two. Step three because I, I started it. Okay, um, let me pull up. I thought we got to, to step three for some reason. Um, give me a second. I'm just going to plug in my headphones because I think I'm going to put them in. Um, I will put up the community meeting question and you can read it while we wait for me to plug in my headphones. I'm going to highlight it in. What's up? So I'm going to go maybe some tea or coffee. I'd be big. Okay. Good morning to, who is that, Deshauna? Hi, Deshauna. Are you there, Deshauna? Good morning. Um, today, we are completing the assignment that is due at the end of class today. Um, Deshauna, were you able to join all of your summit classes? And you could either talk or put your answers in the chat. I'm going to pull up what we were working on. Mm -mm -mm. And it looks like this, Deshauna. You could probably see my, you could see my screen. Basically, this is the, um, the assignment that's due by the end of class. And let me know if you need help getting to it and I can help you. And I'm gonna start taking attendance. Um, Okay, so our community meeting question for today, welcome to English Chew, it's Friday. Yay, we made it a whole week. Um, what types of activities do you turn to to feel like you're in a better mood? What are like your self-care activities? Good morning, Joe here. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. Are you excited for the weekend? Yeah. Do you have anything planned? Uh, it's only two days. Uh, <laughs> um, right. It seems nah. like. I think my like... um my cousin's coming over tomorrow. Actually. Cool. What are y'all gonna do? I don't know. Probably some. Watch a movie or something. 
to eat. Nice. That's a perfect, sounds like a perfect, um, just chill, chill time. The weekends to me feel like they're so short. It's like you snap and it's just Monday again. Um, it's yeah. one free day out the weekend when I think about it. There's only the one day, free day? Yeah. Why? Do you do some, what, what's Because that second day you have to, you have to, you have to wake up at a certain time. Oh, you're right. Well, I guess Friday night is like your free night, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But usually, like, I'm so exhausted. Um, Deshauna, I see your since this whole, and it's, this whole week has been difficult in my sound. Okay, Deshauna, I see your message in the chat. Um, why don't you just, you could follow us. Um, I'm sorry, you have a fever. I hope you feel better. Um, you could follow us. You don't have to use your um, audio to speak if the sound is hard to get, um, but you could use the chat if you have any questions. As long as you could hear what's going on, um, you could participate in the chat. Thank you for letting me know. You would be done everything today? Um, that was the goal that this class period would be to finish checkpoint one. Okay. Because progress report number one is coming out Monday. Oh, Monday, Monday? Or sorry, it, um, you'll get it Wednesday. You'll get it in your mentoring on Wednesday. Because for, for only got New York, cause I think, unless other classes doing it too. Every class should be doing it. Every so, class? Yes. I didn't do whatever. that for um, Townsend yet. we just been talking. And Miss Higgs, she said um, she's going to have something soon, though. And the Spanish teacher said she's going to have something soon. Okay. Do you have them today at all? No, you my own class today. Okay. I got social, um, that social thing, but that's I get that every day. Okay. Um, well, yeah, for mine, I have this is due today. And then next week on Tuesday we're just we're starting something new so we won't be talking about the same thing okay um, all right so let's do the community meeting question and I'm hoping all of you guys can answer this in the chat or with voice but um, you know the coming into this year I feel like the news is kind of heavy like your environment could be heavy sometimes um, and I was wondering, like, what are the activities you turn to, to feel in a better mood? Or what are, like, your top self-care activities? What's the question again? What are your top self-care activities? I meditate in the morning to stay my day. You do, Clay. Meditate in the morning. How long is your meditation? So for two hours, you and what does that look like? Are you like sitting? Yeah, like I usually like just relax. I turn my little um back music on. I take vitamins in the morning. Oh, vitamins, okay. That's good. Do they help you feel better or do they make you feel like a no? Those are nasty. <laughs> I wish I had Flintstone vitamins. Ew, the chewable ones? Yeah, I wanted those. But they're for kids. They are for kids. You can always get those gummy bear the gummy vitamins. The they sell them in the store. Okay, Deshauna says her makeup. Nice. I was watching, um, it's interesting you say that. I've been watching like the makeup tutorials on YouTube and I don't like not to do my own makeup, but it just makes me feel like calm to watch them put it on. Um, I really have admiration for anybody who knows how to do makeup really well. Good morning, Isaiah. Welcome. I also work out. Good morning. 
Oh, working out for sure. What does your workout look like, Quay? Um, if I am meditating, I'll probably do like a two mile run real quick. Um, do a two mile run to come back, do some probably like dips or whatever, do squats. Nice. <laughs> Where do you usually run? Like outside? Yeah, probably um from here to Board Street and back. Okay. That's a that's a pretty good run. Working out definitely makes you feel better, gets your blood pumping, your endorphins going. I want to work out. What's I up? tried working out so many times. I get you tired real fast. What happened? I do like five push ups and then I'm done. Well, <laughs> if it's hard or you can't do it, you gotta like you gotta just go slow. It's not all gonna come at once. Um, Isaiah, what about you? What's the question? What do you, um, what are some activities you do for self-care or to make yourself feel better? Sometimes I eat. Like when I'm not, like when I'm a little upset with something, I'm like, I'm a little mad. I just go grab some food and eat. Oh, okay. So like you eat to relieve stress. Yeah. Okay. Is it good food or you just like snack out? Yeah. Sometimes I probably, like sometimes I start like, how can I, I order out and then just like order half the menu or like I just go out to like a restaurant and like I won't dine then I just order my food for takeout. Okay, so order takeout is like that's that makes a little bit more sense because then you get like the good the good food that you know you you like. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I was a person that would go for walks or some shit. You wish you were? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Oh it's like no point. I don't know where I'm walking to. True. <laughs> You could say, you could be like, I'm going to walk. You could pick a place and then just walk there and back. That would be and weird. Put on music. You feel weird. Or you could go to like one of the parks with a track. You know, like the, um, the high schools that have a track and you just walk around in a circle. A I lot don't of know where one that. at no more. That's probably what? North Philly. I think I, I know one in North Philly. That's the only one I yeah. know of. There's one on Broad Street, too, but Trey. There's one on Broad Street. Street. Where is it oh, at on Broad? Quay. Huh? Where is it at on Broad Street? The one, um, Temple Trick. There's one, um, what's that? Broad and, um, not Thomas. What's that? Broad between Broad and Master and Broad, um, Gerard. It's in between. Hmm. Thank you. And maybe you'll even see Quay out there walking. Ooh, no, she it? runs. I don't go to their track. I go to one of uh, the closest one to me is the one on uh, Montgomery, 16th Street. Mm. Um, anybody else have any? This is a really good list of some self care activities. Anybody else want to add to it? We have meditate, vitamins, makeup, working out, ordering takeout. I'll add I'm more. Wait, I'll the, um, when I'm bored, I play the game. Oh, nice. Okay. Play the game. Do you are you one of the people that like talks to people on it or no? Yeah, I don't know. Nice. I met a lot of people playing the game. I know. I'm so surprised how people like my brother, he's 15 and he is literally always screaming on that game. Like he's talking, screaming, playing till like three in the morning. Um, it seems I mean, like that's getting enough sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough sleep. And then you, and then you try, he tries to wake up for school at like seven 30 and is just dead to the world. Um, what do you do to release some stress? Me? What what types of thing activities you do to like 
make yourself feel better? Um, I love to go on walks. I am like a walk person. I will go to the park. I'll put my AirPods in. Um, I'll go even just like to the grocery store or something. I'll take a walk there. Um, I just love to be outside. And with winter, it's really hard to be outside. Like it's kind of cold and gray. It can um, be freezing. Yeah, freezing. And now that it's like, now that it's getting a little bit more sunny, I feel so much better, like being in the sun and just being outside. Um, another thing I like to do is what else do I do? I listen to music a lot and also um, being around animals, so like pets. I don't know how I didn't say music. Yeah, music makes everything better. Um, I really like animals and I want to have, I want to be, I want to have a farm, not a farm, but like like more like have like a goat and like a bird or something um oh, I goat. Have, what when you get older i don't want it no more same for a monkey you want a monkey yeah did you see have you ever seen that guy on instagram that has the monkey isn't it um one of the ray strumman people have a monkey um yeah yeah, and then he made Sweetly. like a whole Instagram for it. I don't know if you still got that monkey. I know. Yeah, what happened to that monkey? I think they're really, they're kind of like babies to take care of. Um, they're, they're, kind of, they're a step away from humans, right? They're like our closest. No, that might be wrong. They're not our closest ancestor. Um, I think the, the orangutan might be our closest ancestor. Um, all right. So this is a pretty good list. I like this. Um, so if you're ever looking for a new self-care strategy, you can pick one from this list, or you can just use this to reference when you're feeling like, uh, I just feel like a blob today or something. Um, cool. So what time is it? 921. All right. That is good enough time to just transition into talking about our readings, our assignments. Um, and I just wanted to preface this by saying that um, there has been a lot of, in the recent news, um, there has been a lot of uh, publicized police killings. Um, and so when we're talking about this editorial about Black Lives Matter, you are welcome to use recent events or um, your own opinion um, about what's been happening. Um, okay, progress report one, just a reminder, is due at the end of the class, or is due today. So that means that checkpoint one is due at the end of this class. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a second to get up materials you need is checkpoint one for anybody who needs a reminder of where that is. You go over to, I'll view it as a student. Claire, I'm going to view it as you. Okay. Um, you go over to year on the side and scroll all the way down to the um, anything that has a line through it. All these classes that have lines through it are ones that you're taking right now. So for example, Dear Editor, English 2, Term 4, Dear Editor. You're going to find that and go to checkpoint one and click in this box and this should come up. And then also go back in and 
open up once you're on this main page go scroll down it says resources for you and then click on the actual op-ed to open it up let me know when you're there in the chat like when you have those two things up Where does it on that's on our uh, summit? This is the actual article, right? The actual thing that we've been reading. That's underneath checkpoint one. You scroll down and it says resources for you. It says Roxanne Gay op ed. Uh, does Shauna has it? Awesome. Isaiah and Jair, are you there yet? Yeah, I got it. Both of the things both. up? Yeah. I'm gonna put my phone on silent. I don't know how it got off of silent. Um, <clears throat> okay, so once you have those two documents up, um, I wanted to just jog your memory about, we talked about this piece of writing on Tuesday. Um, and for the do now, I want you to, I wanna hear your opinion on this question. Um, from this op-ed, right? Remember, an op-ed is somebody's opinion mixed with facts. So this art, this op-ed is about, um, it was written last year, and it's about the Black Lives Matter movement and change in the policing system. Um, so what my question for you is, what is her idea, what is Roxane Gay's idea of changing the racist police system? What does she say must be done about it? And I'll give you guys a clue of where to find it if you don't know off the bat. Christina, I don't got that under my um my uh checkpoint. Yeah, um, Quay, look, because I'm on this is yours on the screen. Well, I don't have it on my screen. I, I, Here, look, look, look. Go to checkpoint one. Is that where you are? That's where I'm at. Okay, scroll all the way down. I did. It's not, I'm at the share my screen because this is, you can see something different and I'm seeing something. Okay, different. okay. Show me. I can't share because you sharing. Oh, stop. I'll stop. Y'all can see my screen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, look, this is the bottom. I don't hit it. Well, hold up, because you didn't click Quay. You got to click on uh, checkpoint one. Oh, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And then scroll all the way down. Oh, all right. Never and mind. see that Roxanne Gay op ed. And then also open up the chart. I got it. It's on this side. Perfect. Um, where is the share button? Oh. Hold up. Okay, so the question again, sorry about that, everybody. What is her, what is her opinion about changing the racist police system? And you can find that right above, right where the Breonna Taylor picture is. Scroll down. One, two, and it's the third paragraph where it said, if you had asked me, before George, George Floyd's killing, if I believed in police abolition, I would have said that reform or change is desperately needed, but that abolition was a bridge too far. And just so you know, um, when we're talking about abolition, it means getting rid of the policing system. Good morning, Salima. So what is her view on changing the racist police system? Can you change it in her opinion in this paragraph? You guys could take a moment to read it too.
What does she think? You say she is ashamed and she don't see no place without the law. She doesn't see any place what? Without the law. Mm hmm. So she thinks the law, like she thinks this is widespread, right? But what, in her opinion, is the solution? And I'm putting in the chat abolition means. Well, it means a lot of things, but it means that the police would no longer exist as a system. And what does she think in this paragraph? You guys have this on your side, by the way. It's right underneath this picture here. You can tell by the last sentence in the paragraph. Does does anybody want to read that? Well, um, burn it all down and build something new in the ashes. Yeah, what do you think that means in regards to how the policing system is set up? Is it the... Um, the police stations, that's what she said? It could be, right? It could physically mean burn it all down. Or it could metaphorically mean it, right? Like change the entire thing, like burn it so that something yeah. can come about, right? Um, do, you, do you guys agree with this or you don't agree with it, with her view? I agree. Why do you agree, Jair? Because, well, she said, um, she said, the law system is not working right now. It's, it hasn't been working because blacks are still getting killed, even to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something is definitely like so fundamentally wrong, right? Um, anybody else having a dream? Gotta, um, Somewhere now. Well, okay. Jair, were you done speaking? I, I feel like it cut off. I couldn't hear you. Um, I was going to say something. I'm trying to think of a word. Okay. While you're thinking, does anybody else want to share their opinion in the chat or with voice? Do you agree with um, this view? Do you disagree? Ninety dollars. Quay, Salima, Isaiah, Deshana. Say What was the question? It's in the chat. So do you agree with this quote that um, she says regarding the current policing system? Um, she says, burn it all down and build something new in the ashes. Do you agree, disagree? Oh, she being sarcastic. Okay, why do you think that? Because when she say build over top of the ashes, she doesn't literally mean burn it down and build on top of the ashes. She probably mean construct something new right there. Okay. But in order to construct something new, a new system, do you have to get rid of the old one? Yes. So it could be like more of a metaphorical thing, you think? Yeah. 
Okay. So what do you think that, what do you think that system would look like? Like after it's burned down, what would the new system look like? Probably look like the same officers, but just with more respect. Well, if that's the thing, if it was burned down in this metaphoric sense, there would be no such thing as officers. Oh yeah, so there wouldn't be no even police officers, there wouldn't even be districts or nothing. So basically people who, abolitionists who are, you know, they're actually fighting for this vision in the world, a world without policing, a world without, um, without punishment that is violent, um, believe that there would be more like communal based 911 responses. Like if you called 911, there would still be someone to answer the phone but it wouldn't be a police officer. Um, if you, what do we even need the police for? I'm like, what else, what else happens with the police? Um, at subway, at like transit stations, right? Um, there would still be like watches, like, or whatever, but it wouldn't be, the system of policing would be basically gone. Um, prisons, people fight for prisons to close um, and for people to be released and get the proper mental health care and like holistic care that they need. So basically, I don't know, how does that, how does that kind of world sound to you? I think Kwe made a really good point last class that um, the police really don't do anything, even if you call them. Um, so it's something to think about, especially now as like, I think the margin of like, what am I gonna say? Especially after all that protesting that happened recently. Yeah, like it's just it's just become like it's been forever. Like we talked about the founding of this country is based on based on policing and based on killing um and colonization. Um so it's like will we ever see everything burn it all down as she says and build something new in the ashes um do you guys think we'll see that in this lifetime no i don't think so i ain't gonna lie because huh. it would have been happy i don't know about that but the police system just being shut down yeah And like a new, a new um, process of accountability in, in individuals, right? Being accountable for your actions, community holding you accountable in a way that is different from um, carceral punishment. I found mom so to, to get to where I was at up. Yeah, Deshana, um, Deshana shared that in the chat especially in Philly, um, I'm seeing a lot about like response times. So that leads to the question, like, will they actually help? Um, and if you could have had something else happen in that situation where somebody else could have come, that was maybe more local. Like if another system was set up where you call a number and they, they see where you're at, right? With like a GPS and people come to you in in record time and we're gonna next week we're gonna look at the black panther party actually had like an ambulance corps and like these things that were founded from like a grassroots type of thing and the um like the response times and the people who were responding were of the community 
So you didn't have to really worry about like, oh yeah, I'm going to call somebody for this medical emergency and it might put other people in danger. Yeah, Deshaun, I agree with you. And it's very, I think it's really easy to be like angry about that or talk about like, what if, what would have happened, right? Or just wander. Good, mor uh, good morning, Miguel. It's something I, I like to think about a lot, like what it would, <clears throat> what it would look like if we didn't have these, this type of system um, and what people could do within their own organizing. And if we look toward the end of this op-ed, um, she continues that view by saying, it's clear no one is coming to save us, but we can and will save ourselves. And last class we talked about how that was the, that was the claim within this op-ed. Um, that it's gonna be up to the people to keep hope alive, but also up to people to, to really look around and see like, talk to the people around you, especially communities that are instilling this type of violence. Um, okay. Does anybody else have anything to say bef about, um, about the concept of abolishing police? It could really be anything. What abolishing mean? That's a great question. Does anybody know? The word abolitionist comes from um, as early as Let's just look. So it's somebody, it's to abolish means to end or to get rid of or to completely take out. Um, and an abolitionist is somebody who initially favored the getting rid of slavery within like the 1700s, right, or 1800s. Um, and now we could use it for anything to get rid of capital punishment, get rid of police officers, to get rid of the carceral system. Um, so if you're an abolitionist, you want to get rid of a certain way of punishment and, a, and make it make the society more strength based. So like make people more accountable for their actions and learn how to um, how to really recognize what they did wrong and either grow from it or um, I guess like it really looks at the concept of punishment and jailing. And also in a way like abolitionism is truth, right? Is a, is a commitment to truth because when we talk about the founding, um, the colonization of, of America, it's based, on, it's based on a lie and based on punishment. So abolition seeks to kind of restore, restore order to the people who, who um, deserve power. Well, it kind of like seeks to balance there. It's, it's like hard to explain there. It seeks to balance power and like make it that it's an equal exchange.
Okay, so let's go to, let's look at this that we were working on the other day. Um, can someone tell me what step that you guys got up to in checkpoint one, step one, two, or three, or four? On your actual, actual assignment. What step did you get up to? I think in class we got up to step, we talked about the claim, right? The claim within the article. And then we got up to step four. So can somebody share their claim that they had? Does anybody want to share? I had my mic muted. Hmm? I had my mic muted. Oh, it's talking. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to share your claim, Jair, of the actual? Yeah, I was trying to say I didn't get to do three. Oh, you didn't get to do three. And I was Does talking about have... um, four. It's like one slot. Was not four. I think it's five. Okay. Does anybody have three, like the claim or the viewpoint? Because we could do this together. Like, what do you think now that now that we talked? What do you think is Roxanne's gay, cl her claim or her opinion within this article? What I just read. Wait, I didn't hear you, Isaiah. Did you say something out loud? Yeah, so you say for number three? Yeah. What do I have? Mm-hmm. I put companies are taking advantage of the moment and gain, they're taking advantage of the basically the movement to gain employees. Okay. When, what should, and hold on, let me just get something. I can't type in here. This is so dumb. Hold on. Um, here we go. And for everybody else in here, this is, you guys can um, write this claim. You could come up with your own. Good morning, Sammy. Sammy, we're working on checkpoint one right now. And that's for everybody else too, who doesn't have it up. English two, checkpoint one. It's due by the, by like 12 today because remember the progress report is coming out on Monday. All right, hold up, step three. Okay, so this is all based on this op-ed here. And Isaiah, you said that companies are taking, They're taking companies- advantage of the movement to gain employees. Okay, so that's definitely part of it, right? Um, Companies are like co-opting the Black Lives Matter slogan, but not actually putting the action behind it. Um, and what is Roxanne Gay's opinion then, Isaiah? What needs to be done to change things and change like the racist policing system that we have? What do we what do we just talk about like as a class, I guess? Say it again. What do we just talk about as a class? Like what is her opinion on how to change these things? I'm gonna be completely honest. I had took like a five minute nap. <laughs> okay. I had went to sleep real late. I didn't go to sleep till like three in the morning. Okay. Well, let's do it together. Companies are taking advantage of 
Black Lives Matter slogan without action behind it, which won't, doesn't really change anything, right? If you just say that, like it might, it might increase awareness and there's like a consciousness and strength behind that phrase and like a truth, right? But if you're a multi-billion dollar corporation and you're just saying that and sending out emails that say, you know, um, that say one thing, like that's not actually changing what's happening in the world. Might raise awareness, but there's still gonna be the same things happening. So what is the call to action by Roxanne Gay? Like, what is she saying must be done? And you could look back in the article. So scroll we're on number four. What? We're on number four. We're still on number three, because some people don't have it yet. Okay. Gay believes what needs to be done to, to even push toward, like, the ending of or the change, the social change needed within racism and within policing. You could look at the last paragraph. I got another one. Okay, what did you get? I got another one. I got, the other one I got is, Corporations and government will not save the black community. Communities will do that work by breaking generational cycles and put their pride away. Okay, and where did you find that one? One sec, let me pull the iPad up. I already have it on three. I have wrote it. Oh, did you write that or that's in the op-ed? That's what I wrote for three. Okay, corporations will not save corporations and government will not save the black community communities will do that work by breaking generational cycles and put their pride aside okay that um society can be changed by communities being each other doing the hard work of putting pride aside speaking up right yeah and what's the other thing she says? And having hope. Yeah, she was like, burn it all down, build something new in the ashes. Right. Um, so then that would also be like a. She's talking about like police department. In her, and then when you're writing about op eds, just write like in her opinion. Police departments should be burned down and abolished. All right, and I'll leave this up for a second. Thank you for putting all that together, Isaiah. You're if welcome. you guys wanna copy some of this, feel free. You don't have to though. You can go through and pick your own claim. Remember, claim is just like the mean, the crux of the argument. I'll give you a second to um, do this on your checkpoint one. Also, does anybody have any questions about where, like, the actual checkpoint and like the logistics of where this, where any of this goes. Say it again. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I was just asking if anybody has any questions about the checkpoint or like where they're putting things at. Not really. Okay. Because we're going to move on. So let me know if you need me to keep this up. Okay. I'm good. All right. Quay, Salima, Sammy, Miguel, Deshauna. Are I you guys. It. I screenshot. You screenshotted it? Okay. Um, all right. So connecting evidence. 
Um, I'm going to give you guys, so evidence is always something that within an op-ed, we talked about how there could be a few different types of evidence to support this whole opinion that um, companies basically won't save anybody um, if they don't change their ways, right? If they don't change where they put the money behind and how they respect their black employees, how they move them, like put put people of color within, within leadership positions um, with the proper training, with the proper accountability, um, nothing will be changed, right? We need to help each other, do the hard work, um, speak up and have hope, and also police departments should be burned down and abolished. So now, since we came up with that, with that opinion, um, your job is to go within the op-ed and find two pieces of evidence that back up that opinion. So where are some facts and figures that prove this? Any statistics? Um, are there any pictures in the text that support the statement? Do we hear any view from her as a woman um, as evidence? So one of the examples of evidence that I might use to support that um, is this part here underneath this like blank picture where it says in the wake of some of these corporate statements, employees have pushed back. They describe toxic workplaces, abusive coworkers, unchecked bigotry, pay inequities and more. Um, I might put this as one of my pieces of evidence. And then I would just copy and paste it, right? Because evidence literally could be a quote from the text. Put it in quotations because it doesn't come from you. Um, and then where it says how it affects me or, you know, explanation. So this quote to me shows that corporations who only say that Black Lives Matter but don't do anything within their structures contribute to the oppression they're actually trying to speak out against. Um, it is an actual change, it's just performance. So that would prove that, you know, this, this thing that companies won't change anything with the way that they're going. So now I need to find evidence that people can do it or that police department, like we're at a time where anti-police rhetoric is so high that, you know, this, well, it's always been like that. Sorry. I don't want to act like this is new. Um, so what I want you guys to do right now is to take five minutes, five, 10 minutes, go through the op-ed and find two quotes that you think could be evidence of her opinion. And you could use this one, you could use the sample too. When you find your quote, put it inside of the chat so that we could have a collection. I'm going to set the timer on my phone. You think five minutes is enough? I think it is to just scan through. Find two pieces of evidence that like prove her point.
So we have another one. I got one. What was yours, Isaiah? Where'd you find it? Like a quote? Yeah, that, that would like prove her opinion. We was, oh, that would prove her opinion? Well, just tell us the quote. It's like, I'm about to tell you right now. The one that's talking about burn it all down, build something new in the ashes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for it in the op-ed. Mm. Oh, this one. Okay. Got it. You could use that. You just have to explain what it means in the in the right side. So on the right side, what she means is that like we need new basic. We need new like we need a new police district, like new police officers, because the ones we have now is like they're on some other. Well, stuff. the the concept is that there would be no no more thing as police. Oh, so what she's saying is burn it down and build something new in the ashes. Is saying is like we don't need police. Yes, and then like what would be built new is some is a system that would hopefully more be more like loving and accountable and just. Anybody else have a piece of evidence? I'm also looking at. I'm at this part where it says, um, it is clear that no one can come save us, but we can, and we will save ourselves. Okay, that's definitely like a topic, right? What is she, but look at what's following that. Like, can you look at the few paragraphs that are following that? Um, are there any like specific concrete, concrete pieces of evidence that she, she says that like, that prove that we need that? I think she gives some facts about the Breonna Taylor case, the incident report. Hi, Keon. Um, and just reminds us that um, none of the officers were charged. Like that's an actual fact, you know, that she's basing a lot of this on and how repulsive that is and how like people get away with that. Um, so if you look in the chat, there are a ton of quotes that you could use for evidence. Um, for This is for step four. And then also look at this part where she goes to the LA um, protest and she talks about seeing nearly every person take their time at the microphone to um, to to really like verbally castigate the police department um, for their bloated budgets violence and tactics and incompetence The commissioners took turns looking bored, indifferent, annoyed, and frustrated. There was no gesture to acknowledge public frustration. They did not behave like people who were willing to rethink how to do their jobs. That could also be a piece of like a personal anecdote that she notices just to show that there's more need for, um, for people to keep speaking up. Hi, Ra, good morning. So all of these quotes and more can go into step four for evidence. You could also talk about the pictures being used um, and why, like, if they're effective and why they might be evidence for her point. There are two pictures here. 
and it's interesting that the Black Lives Matter Plaza is at the White House in Washington, D.C. And it's, what do you guys think of that? It's kind of interesting to think about, like, if that was proved at the White House, especially with people like storming the Capitol and not getting punished for it. Um, okay, so I'll give you guys another minute or two to fill out step four. For people who just came in, we're on checkpoint one where it says op-ed investigation and discovery. That is what's due by 3 p.m. today. That's your first checkpoint. Um, the piece that, we're, that we've been reading to complete the checkpoint is right underneath checkpoint one. If you scroll all the way down, it's the Roxanne Gay op-ed. And we're looking at step four. We just talked about the claim. I'll keep it up for people if they want to screenshot and like do their own thing. Can, um, can we move on? Can people put in the chat where they're at? I'm ready. You're ready? Okay, what about other people? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yeah. Okay, did you get the did you get at least two pieces of evidence from yeah. the article? Yes, I did. Okay, so then you're pretty good. Did everybody else get at least two pieces of evidence while going through? I could get a later can we move on to bro? I could I could find two. Okay, cool. Um let's go to step five just to like talk about it so that you know what what the words mean. Some of you already know, some of you might not. Um but each op ed has like with somebody stating their opinion, we talked about this a little, they're gonna address the other side of the issue. So they're gonna address people who think that um, that police officers do enough or um, that companies are helping a lot of people. And then they're gonna push back against it in the same beat. Like after that, they address it as the counterclaim and then they push back as the rebuttal. Um, so a good op-ed often has to push back against opinions they don't agree with or stances they find harmful. Um, so what is the, I think Roxanne Gay talks about the counterclaim being companies really help people, right? Companies give a lot of money. To people in the name of Black Lives Mattering, right? Um, also, like police officers, I guess, what's the other, the opposite view? That they like keep order. Keep order in the world and are fair. And then she pushes back against it by saying, what's the opposite? So the rebuttal is what would prove that inaccurate. 
I would talk about like how that whole paragraph on how employees are unhappy, they're, you know, getting fired and all this stuff. And then police officers looking really indifferent and also never being charged for any of the violence they commit for the rebuttal. Um, and then step six is conclusions and reflections. And this um, is the most important part because it's your opinion. After reading this op-ed, um, do you agree or disagree with the author's opinion? And this I'm going to just say is going to be, um, I want you to try for five sentences. So I agree or I disagree because of this, right? Um, and then did you begin reading this piece with your own opinions? And how have those either strengthened or changed after reading it? Like, what did, what did you think about? Um, basically just a reflection of your own. So what we're gonna do right now is for the last, we have another like 10 minutes, I'm going to put the timer on my phone. You guys can type your reflection, you can find your evidence, and I'm going to be checking the chat. So if anybody wants to come into a breakout room um, to talk about any of these steps, I will meet with you in there. You just have to let me know. So you get 10 minutes to take a moment to do some like silent writing and looking back at this op-ed to find evidence, to find a reflection, to find anything that you're missing. And what are we do for six again? I apologize. Um, just read, you can read the directions. Um, do you agree or disagree with the author's opinion? And then there's a few other questions that will prompt you on what to reflect on. So five sentences, basically a sentence answer in each question. For step six? Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Or if you just have like a lot of thoughts that came to you, you could just put them in there. You don't have to answer any question. Okay. Um, let me set this for 10 minutes. Okay. And again, if you need any assistance further, please type in the chat. But for now, this is your time to get this checkpoint complete. And really quick thing, and then I will stop talking so you could work a little bit. Um, when you sit, when you think you're done, a reminder for new people that at the top right, it says request feedback. That's what you must click to turn it in or else like I won't see it. So please do that because there's been a few times where like people do the whole thing and they write awesome things, but then they don't press turn in and it doesn't, or sorry, they don't press request feedback and it won't come. And I'm going to mute whoever. I'm just going to mute you, Isaiah. If you need to say anything, you could press unmute. But please take this time, these last 10 minutes, to really um, use like the time and the Zoom to like do your thing so that you're just done with this by today. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I put, I agree with the Arthur's opinion. And, but then you have to like explain why and what yeah. your personal view is. Okay, and one of the reasons I agree with it is because she gave a lot of good points. 
Okay. And maybe choose one of those points and be like, this was my favorite because why? I got you. Because look, one of my favorite points was about how she said corporations is now realizing, you feel me, they want to use the Black Lives Matter because they also have black employees and they also want to real employees in. So now they're just using the movement. Mm-hmm. And it's like they're trying to take advantage of it. And that ain't right. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to just like maybe address like what would actually be the change. Okay. That's the quote I was going to use. The quote I was going to use is corporations finally believe Black Lives Matter, or at least they understand that they have to make mm -hmm. the they believe it matters. Cool. How is everybody else doing with um, completing this? Timer says about six more minutes left. Um, um, I went back to four to find two more uh, um, types. Two, two uh, more pieces of evidence or quotes? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I think I have everybody who was here.
Okay. Um, time check. Have about three more minutes to do whatever work you have to do on the checkpoint. Um, the final, oh, okay. Um, this will be due, I'm saying by 1 p.m. today is the deadline. So you should be able to have some time after some of your periods. Um, if you've been showing up to each class, most of it was done along the way or like just from discussion, you can gather some of this. Um, next week when we meet on Tuesday, we will be starting a new topic. So next week we're gonna be focusing on LGBTQ um, history and rights, specifically trans rights and um, current like anti-trans legislation. Um, so that is what's coming up for next week. Who is this that just popped in? Why does it say blank name? Who is that? Hmm. Okay, so it has to be exactly five sentences. Um, yeah, I would like you to get up to five sentences because that's technically what a paragraph is. A paragraph so. is. Okay, so I finished mine. I completed it, right? And you say I will put request feedback. Request right? feedback, yep, if you're done. Okay, I'm just going to fix some of these words that's read. Okay. Um, we have about another minute and 18 seconds. Um, so for everybody else, even if you didn't finish the whole checkpoint, um, please finish by 1 p.m. Feel free to email or text me if you... You got late, because I definitely sleep. I need to go last It's the medicine I take. Um, yes, I do have a lab, but it's short. Today it's shortened. I will be there at one, though. No All right, it's cool. I got majority. So I just need some of the notes. I mean, I okay. Know. Also, you can watch the YouTube. I'm going to upload it right after this class. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with that, I hope everybody has a really fun and safe weekend. Um, please make sure to get this turned in by pressing request feedback. And I want to thank you again for all of Yo. your thoughts um, and input. All right. Have a great Friday, and I will see you on Tuesday. Um, Salima, I will see you at 1130. Okay. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your weekend. You too. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.